Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. 1 John 2 verses 1 to 2 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only but also for the sins of the whole world. Acts 5 verse 31 God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Isaiah 1 verse 18 Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Matthew 26 verse 28 for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Luke 1 verse 77 To give knowledge of salvation to his people and the forgiveness of their sins. Acts 10 verse 43 To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 10 Anyone whom you forgive, I also forgive. Indeed, what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of Christ. Matthew 18 verses 32 to 33 Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant! I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant, as I had mercy on you? Colossians 1 verses 13 to 14. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Psalm 86 verse 5 For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Matthew 6 verse 12 And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Psalm 103 verses 10 to 12 He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Colossians 3 verse 13 Bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Matthew 18 verses 21 to 22 Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times. Romans 4 verses 7 to 8 Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. 
2 Samuel 24 verse 14. Then David said to Gad, I am in great distress. Let us fall into the hand of the Lord, for his mercy is great. But let me not fall into the hand of man. Psalm 51 verse 17. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Mark 11 verse 25. And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. 1 Peter 4 verse 8. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Ephesians 1 verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. Matthew 5 verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. James 5 verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Romans 15 verse 7. Therefore welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 18. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Proverbs 17 verse 9. Whoever covers an offense seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. Isaiah 55 verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Psalm 130 verses 3 to 4. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. Luke 6 verse 37. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Colossians 2 verses 13 to 14. And you, who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses, by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Matthew 6 verse 15. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, either will your Father forgive your trespasses. Psalm 32 verse 1. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Isaiah 43 verse 25 I, I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Luke 11 verse 4 And forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation. Proverbs 28 verse 13 Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. John 8 verse 7 And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. Isaiah 44 verse 22 I have blotted out your transgressions like a cloud and your sins like mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. 
Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24. So if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 1 Peter 3 verse 9 Do not repay evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called, that you may obtain a blessing. Hebrews 10 verse 17 Then he adds, I will remember their sins and their lawless deeds no more. Proverbs 19 verse 11 Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. Matthew 6 verse 14 For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 5 Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Hebrews 8 verse 12 For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. Matthew 18 verse 15 If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. Romans 5 verse 8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Ephesians 4 verse 26 Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. James 2 verse 13 For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Luke 17 verses 3 to 4 Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times, saying, I repent, you must forgive him. Forgiveness. Ephesians 4 verse 32 be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15 For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, either will your Father forgive your trespasses. Colossians 3 verses 12 to 14 Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Matthew 18 verse 35 So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Romans 12 verses 19 to 21 Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 2 Corinthians 2 verses 7 to 8 so you should rather turn to forgive and comfort him, 
or he may be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. So I beg you to reaffirm your love for him. Luke 17 verses 3 to 4 Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day, and turns to you seven times, saying, I repent, you must forgive him. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out. Psalm 103 verse 12 As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Micah 7 verse 18 Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over transgression for the remnant of his inheritance? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in steadfast love. Psalm 32 verse 5 I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover my iniquity. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Matthew 18 verse 18 Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Acts 13 verses 38 to 39 Let it be known to you therefore, brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you, and by him everyone who believes is freed from everything from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Psalm 25 verse 11 For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Nehemiah 9 verse 17 They refused to obey and were not mindful of the wonders that you performed among them. But they stiffened their neck and appointed a leader to return to their slavery in Egypt. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and did not forsake them. Isaiah 1 verse 9 If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Luke 23 verse 34 and Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. Jeremiah 31 verse 34 And no longer shall each one teach his neighbor and each his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Psalm 130 verse 4 But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Luke 7 verse 47 Therefore I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven for she loved much. But he who is forgiven little, loves little. Matthew 18 verses 23 to 27 Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold, 
with his wife and children and all that he had, and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. Acts 26 verse 18 To open their eyes, so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Psalm 32 verses 1 to 2 Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. 2 Samuel 12 verse 13 David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord also has put away your sin. You shall not die. John 20 verse 23 if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Psalm 51 verses 1 to 2 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. 1 John 1 verse 7 But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin.